Hi guys, so I wanted to share with you my latest upgrade for my siren. Uh, I actually upgraded to a new anchor. I got the uh, Fortress FX, which is a, a very popular anchor and somewhat expensive. Uh, it's actually made right down here for Lauderdale and it's a very nice looking anchor very sharp looking, it's made out of aluminum, very light, Sh sharp looking, also sharp, it kind of digs into the sand better and quicker than, a, than any other anchor. So uh, that's my upgrade, the anchor was actually 100 bucks and I bought a new 100 foot, like a medium quality, medium like, and West Marine actually they call it like a really good quality uh, line you know for the anchor and also this time I bought a chain so I'll show you what I had before and I had it for many trips my rig that I had before my very small four pound anchor and just like a line no no any kind of uh, chain and I've anchored many times few times had a little bit of issues with dragging the anchor so this time I wanted to I'm going I wanted to do this upgrade to where I wanted to see how the holding of this anchor is and for my overnight trips especially like if there's a chances of you know high wind overnight or whatnot I would like to be able to not to have to worry about dragging that's a big thing you know this anchor dragging especially at night when you can't just jump out you don't have a good visibility to recover to turn the motor on to you know configure everything to point the boat in the right direction, you know, at night it's a very, like a critical time, you know, to be safe as far as, you know, not dragging the anchor. So I will show you the rig that I had before, it's actually down here. And I'll take it out and then I'll compare it to what I have now. And I will also let you guys know how it was holding when I was down, when I, because, uh, this Friday, Labor Day weekend, I'm actually heading down to Marchese's again with a friend of mine and uh, his wife and then also have somebody accompanying me on a trip as well. And uh, so I'll definitely be testing what I have. So I will take out the anchor that I have now and show it to you guys. So this is the anchor that I have now. And really there's not much wrong with this anchor. It's uh, it worked really well for four years. Like I said, I have a very short line. I think maximum maybe 50 feet of line there. Uh, so this is what I purchased from the West Marine. It's a premium, premium anchor line. And it already has this uh, same thing like this one, you know, to hold onto the anchor. Uh, 100 feet. This was, I think, about 50, and I got this on sale. I actually lost the anchor on one of my trips down to the Keys, and I'll, uh, that was quite a story, but I lost the anchor because I kept it in my bow, and it fell in the water, and it caught in a very strong wind onto the, uh, like a lobster trap. So I had to cut a line, and that was the anchor that I had before this one. So this anchor, I mean, for what it is, I think it worked decently well. But I decided for overnights, I'll go ahead and get the, or you know, for my tr trips down there to the Keys and overnight trips, I'll get this fortress. So, you know, let me put the other anchor next to this one. So to compare, I mean, fortress is definitely bigger. I mean and a wider, the weight is almost the same. I think that this is a four pound and the fortress is four pound, but just it's a bigger in size. And uh, I don't know if this part right there does anything special, you know. But the whole thing has to do with uh, the angle of the anchor. 
so they say this angle right here for the sand is the best I think it's like 30 degrees so I'm pretty sure what this is too so and then this looks very good like it'll go into the sand really good to hold and I have a lot more line in case I have to anchor in some kind of you know let out more line in the deeper water lose the engine or whatnot it's good to have and then a big thing that I didn't have before and it's kind of recommended for use with this fortress anchor and especially for my overnights I'll definitely use this for my day sails this still may use my old rig when I you know when I really don't need anything too complex or maybe I'll just make rig this on that shorter line my fortress and just have it like uh, without a chain because you know I really don't like handling the chain for my you know little day sails and all that it's just like pain in the ass to do that so I would just rather have shorter line maybe this anchor for my day sail rig and then for overnights definitely I'll rig the chain and my long you know long line so so I hope you guys enjoy that little insight about the some of the equipment that I use, so, uh, you know, my, my anchoring equipment. And I hope that this is, this is a good purchase because the whole thing was pretty expensive. The line was like $85, the anchor was like 100 And then just those little, you know, the chain was actually very expensive. I thought the chain was going to be cheap, but chain was like another 40 or 50 bucks, something like that. Because it's a special chain that's not supposed to rust very easily so let's hope that's that holds to be the truth and uh, so the whole thing the whole upgrade was like 250 bucks which is you know pretty nice chunk of change for you know for a small sailboat so I hope it works well I will test it in Marchese's this weekend and I will let you guys know how it works thanks for watching <laughs>